We know little about levels of bycatch and entanglement in most of the world's fisheries. Existing laws focus on maintenance of populations rather than welfare. Yet, bycatch has wide-reaching welfare consequences affecting quality of life for the many cetaceans that become injured and stressed or suffer the loss of conspecifics. For each that dies, we can expect many more to survive and suffer from such interactions. Cetaceans are considered to be in the highest category of animals on scales of sensibility to pain and suffering, in the same category as primates, like us. Those that escape or are released from fishing gear can suffer a variety of injuries, high levels of stress, behavioral alterations, physiological and energetic costs that can lead to reduced long-term survival. Each year, hundreds of thousands of marine mammals die from accidental capture. For example, the Yangtze River dolphin in China is likely to be extinct. The vaquita in Mexico is facing extinction due to the gill nets. Maui's dolphin in New Zealand is critically endangered due to bycatch and troll fisheries. North Atlantic right whales are not recovering as fast as southern right whales due to ship strikes and entanglements. Marine mammal bycatch is hindered by the almost complete lack of reporting on a global scale and the majority of vessels are not monitored for bycatch by national or regional fishery commissions. Survival and reproductive success can depend on social cohesion and organization, and the effects of social disruption caused by bycatch mortalities may go beyond individual removals and impede population recovery. Cetaceans wrapped or trapped in loops of marine debris experience pain, fear, skin lesions and infection, and sometimes deeply incised wounds from rope or line, which can amputate limbs and cut down to bone. This is a death sentence that takes a long time and a lot of suffer. This is relatively new to us and we need to figure this out soon. We've been told to reduce our plastic consumption, but this is only half of the equation. What about fishing nets? What about our habits? What about our way of living? What about our way of feeding? Do you have any ideas on how to stop this? Please suggest on the comments below.